Okay. Good morning. And I would like to present the, the very rare uh, peripheral case uh, observed by brand new high resolution angioscopic catheter. I have nothing to disclose. This is my case. An 81 year old woman with critical limb ischemia underwent endovascular therapy for chronic total occlusion or superficial femoral artery to popliteal artery. She had a smoking habit and he prescri prescribed a, a low dose prednisolone. Uh, this is the picture of her uh, ulceration. Uh, the the uh, refra refractory cutaneous ulcer was very small, uh, located uh, basal portion of the torus. It was quite small, but ABI and skin perfusion pressure was quite low, indicating the severe limit ischemia. This is an angiography. Uh, the angiography revealed the simple uh, chronic total occlusion, the distal SFA to pop, uh, mid portion of popliteal artery. We performed endovascular therapy for this patient. Uh, got all three, five guide wires uh, easily and successfully passed through the anti-gradually through the uh, CTO region. And we uh, measured by IBUS, and the IBUS imaging will be the no uh, aneurysmal formation, and the vascular were quite normal in the uh, CTO region. The, we measure the size of the vascular, it was about 5.5 millimeters, so size of PDD, uh, Jirba PDX 6.0 uh, we implanted. This is the angiographic, angiographical clinical course. We deployed the Jirba PDX pacotaxacoded vascular stent. Uh, after 20 months later, uh, we observed in the angi angiogram, there's a two portion of uh, peri strength contrast staining, uh, namely PSS lesion. Because uh, PSS in vascular uh, world is quite rare, so we uh, conducted the angioscopic anal analysis. Uh, this is a brand new angioscopic uh, catheter named Zenposhi, developed in Japan. Uh, this is very a, a high resolution uh, imaging. You can see at the PSS side, there's a bare stand metal with white thrombus and degenerated aneurysm uh, vascular wall. It's, it's quite interesting. On the other hand, we uh, conducted another catheter using uh, old type conventional angioscopy, fiber optic angioscopic catheter. This is for coronary use. For you can uh, uh, detect the uh, positively remodeled vascular wall because SFA is a larger vessel uh, compared to coronary artery. This is the imaging summary. Uh, we also conducted a OCT imaging. The OCT revealed the highly positive uh, remodeled vascular wall at PSS site. Uh, in the Zimposh catheter, uh, clearly it showed uh, the uh, degenerated vascular wall. PSS is rarely observed after GBPDX implantation. It may be associated be with the neon intimal heterogeneity and the positive remodeling. Persistent localized inflammation due to pacrotaxel might cause this phenomenon. The Zimposh high resolution angioscopy was new developed for peripheral vascular use. It is equipped with 0.48 megapixel equivalent resolution camera at the catheter tip, and has higher quality imaging and larger angular field in comparison with the conventional fiber optic angioscopy. This is schema with Zenposhi brand new state of art uh, angioscopic catheter. Uh, the, the high resolution camera was equipped at the tip of this catheter. In conclusion, refractory superficial femoral artery wall healing was apparent in high resolution angioscopic images more than 20 months after Pacritagus quoted stent implantation. Thank you very much.
interested just to learn from you a little bit because I have zero experience with uh, with this. Um, when do you use it and why? And how can you tell if these were because of the stent or maybe there was, when you implanted the stent, these were there already and but had thrombus and then when there was flow, it went away. Huh? So a so, few questions here. When do you use it and why? The angioscopy. Uh, you took angioscopy. Um, and then how do you know that these are pseudo aneurysms like because of the stent? Yeah, it's a good question. But <coughs> angioscopy, had, imaging device has, uh, you know, have pros and cons. Uh, if you're talking about the IVAS or CT angioscopy, there, there's many. No, no, uh, the, oh, see, just angi angioscopy yeah. has uh, the benefit to detect the thrombus and uh, vulnerable products. So, so this is, I just, this is the, I want to uh, say that this brand new cat is uh, for peripheral use. So mm -hmm. you can find uh, many uh, new things compared to the old, older one. So the, I got this new new type of cut there, and the PSS is very quite rare, so I just wanted to see the region with this new cut there. A question for you. In your experience with angioscopy, one of the things that struck us on the panel was that the, the limited amount of endothelialization that this stent had actually occurred after 20 months of looking, was this a typical angioscopic image of a stent? Is that something that we should be more aware of? Or was this an atypical uh, uh, assessment of a 20-month-old stent? Yeah, I think uh, if you uh, observe the uh, uh, normal bare metal stent implantation, uh, you can see the neoindema or hyperplasia. It's a quite uh, clean, white hyperplasia um, with endoscopic imaging. But this is the uh, drug coated stent. So the, the, you can see the very heterogeneity, hyperplasia, mm -hmm. that's the difference, I, I think so. Is it typical for DES to stay? Yeah, I think so it's a typical, but the, the PSS is quite it's rare. for two years. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's Without right. Without any lining on the stent. Yeah, I think it's a typical, typical, but PSS site is quite um, specific. Yeah. It's interesting. Perfect. Well, thank you very much. Thank you very much.